I'm Dan Ackerman, and we are here taking a look at the brand new Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon. Now, about a year ago, we saw a ThinkPad X1, and that was a, a laptop. This was before they even had Ultrabooks that was designed to sort of compete with the MacBook Air and a handful of other uh, really super thin 13-inch laptops, uh, but appealed to business users at the same time. That stuff was perfectly nice, uh, but it wasn't really as thin or as slick as a MacBook Air. Uh, didn't really stand out from the crowd too much. Uh, when I first saw this new version, the X1 Carbon, I said to myself, you know, they didn't really change the name. It's still called the X1. It kind of looks the same at first glance. I wonder if it's really been upgraded enough for us to really pay attention to. But now that I actually have the X1 Carbon, uh, I got to tell you, this version feels a lot different than the original. Uh, it's really a lot of fun to use. Feels great in the hand, very light. They bumped up the screen to a 14-inch screen, even though the body is still just about the same size as a 13-inch laptop. And Lenovo says this is the world's lightest 14-inch laptop. It's just a hair under three pounds. Let's just call it three pounds. And it is as thick as a 13-inch Ultra Book should be, even though it has a 14-inch screen. Now, of course, it's got uh, the latest uh, third-gen Intel Core i5 CPU. Um, a lot of the models have, uh, have, have 3G data uh, antennas built in. It doesn't have a discrete graphics card, which we've actually seen on some high-end Ultrabooks recently, just a regular Intel HD 4000 graphics. But it does have something I really appreciate in a laptop of this size, and that is a 1600 by 900 screen as opposed to the 1366 by 768 screen that a lot of 13 and even some 14 inch laptops have. Uh, those always sort of feel cheap. I think 16 by 9 for 13 or 14 inch is really the sweet spot you want to be at to balance screen real estate and readability all at the same time. One cool feature is that you can bend the lid all the way back like this. Now, the one problem you're going to have with the uh, ThinkPad X1 Carbon is honestly the price. It starts at $1399. Uh, this one tiny step up model is $1499 and it just gets more expensive from there. Now some companies can get away with charging a, a premium and certainly uh, Lenovo's ThinkPad line is among those, especially if you're a business user and let's say your company is going to buy the laptop, you're not going to go out and buy it yourself. Uh, that being said, if they could have gotten this down closer to $1,000, even for a slightly stripped down version, it, it would really be a must buy because um, they've got all that sort of thinking and engineering that goes into ThinkPads, especially uh, the keyboard, which has sort of the, the, the curved bottom keys that are a lot easier to type on. And uh, you get all that built in here, but you're still paying a premium for it. I did, however, like uh, this new style of trackpad, which I don't think I've seen on a Lenovo before. It's a, it's a glass-covered trackpad, and it really is probably the most responsive Windows trackpad I have ever tried. Uh, in fact, it was so responsive, I had to I'd take a few minutes to get used to it because the, the pointer was just zipping around all over the place. So if you can handle the high price, again, $1399, $1499 or higher, depending on what uh, CPU and how much uh, hard drive space you want, uh, I really have not seen an ultra-thin laptop that's probably as all-around usable outside of maybe a MacBook Air if you're a big Apple fan uh, than this guy right here. I'm Dan Ackerman, and that is the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon.